So viewers, we're in the car. I've just picked up Paul. Say hello, Paul. Hello, everybody. And uh, we're on our way to go pick AD and Pip up, and then we're going to go hit some inside places today because the weather ain't so good. We're just getting some sustenance. All the best bits. We have what drink? Uh, white coffee, please. So we just stopped for a coffee and have something to eat. There's a railway sleeper. So there's even something in this video for railway fans already. 2016. Paul knows a bit about the railways and he says this is possibly off the East Coast Main Line and it's for high speed railways. So high speed trains is what I meant to say. It doesn't look square either, as in that concrete piece there looks shorter than that concrete piece, so it could be for a, a bend. And it's just randomly here in this truck yard. So this is Drax Power Station we're coming up to viewers. Um, it's actually two power stations in one. So I've got the viewers will be able to correct me on this. I think it's Drax A and Drax B, but they combine it in one turbine hall. The, the combustion chimney, I believe, is the tallest combustion chimney now in the UK. There used to be one down at Brain, that was very tall, that was dropped in 2016. This chimney, or this power station, has been granted an extra 30 years because half of the power station could run on biomass, uh, half of it's still on coal. But uh, there we are, we're coming up closer to it. Uniquely, this power station is placed in such an area where it's got the river and it's next to a railway and that railway used to be part of the Hull and Barnsley Railway. Uh, the track was lifted when the Hull and Barnsley Railway closed and they relayed the track to supply coal and biomass to this power station which is Drax. Um, you can see on the left there's a bank of cooling towers and on the right there's a bank of cooling towers. The cooling towers on the left are the cooling towers for the turbines and boilers that power the biomass fuel part of the power station and that is five cooling towers which you can see here. And they do look pretty big them cooling towers. We'll get quite close to them soon as this road forks to the left. We're just about going over the route of the old Hull and Barnsley Railway now as we turn left here. We'll see the security map there for Drax. We're just passing the south gate and we should see some of the water coming down the cooling towers. And there we are, that is Drax. So we're just coming up to Carlton Towers now. Uh, and on the right is the old Carlton Railway Station and there's an engine shed in these trees too. As we cross over the Hull and Barnsley Railway, and this is part of the Hull and Barnsley Railway that's still in use and still active for Drax Power Station. What have you lost Andy? I've just dropped the lens cap for that lens under the seat. It's just fell down that gap there. The worst possible the place. The worst possible place. And this has got electric seats. Oh no! Where's that go? <laughs> so our mission and explore today is finding Andy's <laughs> cap. Found his Andy's lens cap. Oh no! I wasn't intending on exploring my own car. Oh, where's it gone? I can't yeah. actually see it. It hasn't rolled anywhere else, has it? Most people lose lens caps on explorers. Yeah, no, I've lost it in the car. <laughs> oh no. I can't actually see it. I can't feel it. It's not in the back. Oh, there it is. It's like in between the seat. Oh, don't drop it now. And now we've got spectators coming to have a look at all the fuss. 
<laughs> yeah, it is. Here. Hey, got it. Yeah, he's got it. Yeah. There it is, folks. There it is. Right, I'm not dropping that again. <laughs> <laughs> So we're in Sheffield viewers, we've got Eddie and Pip and Paul with us and we're going to explore this, this is Cannon Brewery. Right, we're in viewers. It's a bit moist today viewers some pretty cool graffiti about that is good isn't it yeah you like your cats don't you Pip six cats wow I think this is why I didn't come up last time it's literally a staircase <laughs> to a lift shaft yeah, right. yeah. so that's there See they've had the uh, bronze out of the uh, bearings. Oh yeah? And the motor away. Yeah. Right, so back down. Look how full the river is. Fast flowing and it's very full. Right, so this area here viewers, I believe this is where they used to put the barrels on filled barrels and we used to pull them along with this chain system to there and then just round this corner they loaded them into that lift yeah well this is the the beer tasting room the pub in fact they had some right parties in here yeah I bet they were yeah this only closed because Interbrew bought it. Interbrew in Europe bought this and just closed it down. Uh, before that, it was owned by Molson Coors, and they actually made a go of it and made it successful. Uh, Molson Coors is still up in Tadcaster, I believe. Shame that they can No. So Pip's found some glasses, beer glasses. Yeah, I don't fancy drinking out of those. No. And it's basically the time to be in wine boxes. Oh, there's the, the old beer labels. William Stones. Stones Bitter. Oh, did they make Stones? Eh? This is what they used to make here, eh? yeah. Stones, yeah. Stones Bitter. Hi. Cannon Brewery. The old labels. That is cool. Then we've got the glasses the people used to drink out of. And these were the employees, the people that worked here, they used to drink the beer. It's massive, isn't it? This Yeah, it's huge, it goes right back. I was on my own last time I was in here, so I didn't really explore under there. So just in the cable tunnels. I think it has, yes. All the workings for the newer part were possibly fed from this part. Was there any kind of on site generator or? There must have been. There must have been a big yeah. boiler. There must have been big boilers somewhere. But I can't remember. I think they're over in the other side. Lights it up nicely, doesn't it? Should we go down there? Yeah, right, So the locker room's down here. Rather moist. Moist indeed. And that spiral staircase there leads to the the other part. So we're in a room here. We think this was possibly one of the boiler plant rooms. Because down in that corner there is a heating pipe. And they've took the floor out to get the machinery out. That's the that's the ceiling of the floor above. It used to run along the black line that's in the centre of the screen now. Oh, and yeah, and there, Eddie. Yeah. Below that fan, that's the flue. 
because to brew beer you need a lot of heat for the hot liquor tank. And that could have been the flu for a boiler. And again in here, the ceiling has been taken out, which was part of the floor above. And I think they've removed that to get machinery out. I mean, over there, that's one, two, that's three, that's a three-story building yeah. through there. The panelled ceiling. Yeah, food grade floors. Yeah. As we walk through here, we've got the bricks of the 1930s, and then we're going to this massive area number two. Three story. Oh, area number one. Oh, yeah, they're all marked. Yeah, area number six, area number one. There. Oh, cool. There we have it. It's not bad up north. <laughs> Oh yeah, there used to be a staircase there, do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, because that's the handrail. And then, they've just, just, they've just literally bulldozed it inside yeah. and then left the shell up. They, they've really, really, you know, they've made it unusable. There's nothing you can do with it now, is there? No. Like semi-ha, semi-smashed a bit. And this is a full three stories again, so we're on the ground floor. That's the first floor. And that's the second floor up there. Just and that's a pigeon perch. Pigeon perch up there, yeah. yeah. Cavernous building. And it's mad to see like the old workstations. Yeah. Up there. The buttons and things to operate the machinery. It's a long way down though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. All the massive lumps of concrete down there. Oh, there we I don't know. Yeah. Well, it must have been a strong floor, this, because the bottom of the tanks were here and were like three stories up. And then the tanks were in there. Big copper tanks. And these were the fermentation tanks. Yeah, I've never seen something. When I was here last, there was some uh, FPV drone guys here. Really? Yeah. It was uh, Gornuts FPV, Swiss FPV, and Sink FPV. They were all here flying the drones around. <laughs> Yeah, sadly, I think you're right. It's going to get it in, so it gets in the concrete and the yeah. steel expands, it pops it all. It's already started here, it's bringing the plaster yeah. off. Then it'll start cracking the actual concrete underneath and it'll all start breaking up. They'll have to demolish this eventually. I mean, oh, that'll be a nightmare for health and safety with where it is, won't it? I think that's why it's just still sat here. Just, yeah. Stripped bare so it can't ever be used again and just left as a shell. Yeah. And yeah, people blame the council, but a, a private company's done this and oh, left yeah, it like yeah. this and then just abandoned it. Well, the, you said they were bought out. Interbrew uh, bought them. Which sounds like a big, massive company. Uh, they're they're from the them. Netherlands, I think. They're the very small companies. And they bought it, closed it down, and then the government stepped in and said, You can't do that. And then they just left it like this. And I think Molson Calls own it all now. And then, don't know who owns this. It is, yeah. This would have been a big employer. Well, 
that's peculiar. Again. It's all stainless. Working it, though. It shows how... It shows how secure this place has been. This this has been sealed for a good few years. That's a nice flange of stainless. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh... It's a shame that because out here you can see the old Sheffield ski slopes over there and oh, then Stanley wow. Tools is up there. We might get up, up there and have a look from there. Yeah. You can see that you can see wow. from this rooftop you can see all the airbex hotspots of see record they? tools and because Sheffield used to have an airport as well near Meadowall. I wonder if that was an old airfield there. Not sure. If you go on Google Earth Pro and look back, you can see it. Oh, right. It's all built on now, they wanted yeah. rid of it. There's no wonder it's getting wet inside. Is there? Not with that. Yeah, the, weather's, the weather inside. has been bad here recently. That must be a good four inch deep. Yeah, that's over the top of boots, yeah. isn't it? Is that a marble staircase? Looks like marble. Got, it, yeah, it is. Yeah, and that I mosaic in it. Yeah. And it, that's just, it, we're just in the brew house. That's. Magnificent how they've finished that with marble in in an in industrial area. I would have loved to have seen this when it was open because the copper tanks that were here, I bet they were brightly polished. And it would have smelt amazing, all the malt and barley and hops and yeast and sugar. Have you been past Tadcaster Brewery? Yeah, it smells ace. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, cool. I like oh, the sun was coming yeah. out of your jacket. Really <laughs> really nice, so that's what I Doctor Who. We've got a rainbow viewers out the window of Stanley Correction. It's because Stanley Tools is up there. I was showing Eddie. A rainbow. And that's the end of this vlog, viewers. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Quite a nice rainbow, that. Be a pot of gold there. Also check out Adi's channel and I'll see you next Thursday at 4pm UK time. Bye bye for now.